Now we're going to be, uh, review the book of Colossians. Colossians chapter 1. So Colossians starts with a C, so our key words for the pictures will have to start with the letter C. One is the letter T. So in chapter 1, we have a picture of a cat. Uh, anytime you see the cross, the shape of a cross, we remember Christ. And so a, there is a chest above here. He's holding a hope chest. If you don't know what that is, your parents can explain it to you. And a picture of a flag. Another word or name for the American flag is, oh, glory. So glory. So chapter 1 of Colossians Paul says that Christ, the cross, is in you, Christ in you, and Christ in you is the hope of glory. Christ in you is the hope of glory. Colossians chapter 1. Colossians chapter 2, it's got to start with a C, and, and 2 is the letter N, so we have a can. This can is, hoping, is holding up a treasure chest, and in the treasure chest is a cross, Christ, and an owl, which helps us to remember an owl is often associated with the word wisdom. So in Colossians chapter 2, can Paul talks about how Christ is our treasure of wisdom. You want wisdom? You've got to have Christ, right? Uh, Christ is wisdom. He is our treasure. So Christ is our treasure of wisdom. Chapter 3. 3 is the letter M. So we have a comb. In this picture, Colossians chapter 3, Paul is saying to put your heart on the things above. You know, you put things up on a shelf. So put your heart on the things above, the things of God, the way God thinks, the way God is, and, and all the good thoughts about who God is and what he's like and his character and those kinds of things. So set your heart, your affection, set your heart on the things above, not here all on the things here in this world. Chapter four, four is the letter R. So we have a picture of a core, an apple core. And this apple core is pouring salt on its lips. And so Paul talks about our conversation in Colossians chapter four. He says that our speech is to always, speech lips, our speech is always to be full of grace. And we're to season our words with what? Salt. Our words are to be kind of salt words. They're like gift words to the people that we speak. So our conversation is to be full of grace and seasoned with salt. There you go. The book of Colossians. Keep up the great work.